thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank, uh, thank you for being here today, Chairman. Um, the economy seems to react to almost everything you say. Sometimes it reacts to things Congress does or fails to do. Uh, you said earlier that we need a plan to deal with our, or at least a plan to deal with our uh, long-term financial debt is important to current economic conditions. Is that correct? Yes. Does Congress's inability to even be able to pass a budget for this current year and therefore our inability to do our appropriation bills for this current year have a negative impact on our economy, would you say, and if so, to what degree? Well, it's important for us to persuade the markets that we have the political will and ability to address our long-term debt and deficit problems. Um, so what you're saying is, you know, in, inability to, uh, to pass a budget uh, could be a negative in that respect. I have to say, in all honesty, that so far we're not seeing it in the markets. The interest rates remain quite low. But it's certainly one of the things that um, the markets will assess is the political ability of the Congress to work together to develop a, um, a longer-term budget plan that will bring us back to sustainability. In terms of tax policy, you said it needs to be uh, small business friendly. Obviously, small businesses create a majority of the jobs, uh, new jobs in this country. Does it need to be consumer friendly also? And the reason I ask that is, uh, uh, is this a time to let taxes increase or to increase tax rates on uh, anybody in our economy? We've heard a lot about all the tax rates that we've decreased for small business and uh, investment income and other types of things. What about uh, increasing tax rates on consumers? I'm trying to avoid, as you can see, trying to avoid getting into the detailed debates about specific measures. Um, but in general, but in general, in general, I think you know right now we have a, a broadly stimulative fiscal policy, which which at the moment is is helping, is is needed. That includes lower taxes and probably higher spending as well. But I think in order to, for that to be sustainable, we need to have a plan in the medium term to bring us back down to a sustainable trajectory, and that's that's what's critical. As, as long as we have the confidence of the markets that we will be able to exit from this situation with a sustainable fiscal program, then I think we'll be okay. If the markets take the conclusion from our actions that uh, we're unable to, to do that, then we, we face some risk that uh, interest rates will go up and markets will be uh, uh, unconvinced. Do markets care uh, in this long-term fiscal plan to, to bring us back into some sort of balance? How much of it is, is based on fiscal restraint uh, or, or spending restraint by Congress, and how much of it would be a tax increase? I think it depends on, this, on the detailed structure of exactly what the spending and taxes is. Again, I'm, I'm trying to avoid taking sides on this because uh, it's really up to Congress to make those decisions. But, but clearly, we need your expertise on it. <laughs> well, no, there are plenty of people who have that kind of expertise, including the Congressional Budget Office and others. But... But the point is that we need to find some combination of reforms, taxes, spending, however you want to put it together, that's going to assure markets that uh, deficits will be kept under control over the medium and long term. One last question. Uh, the chairman mentioned, uh, are we looking at a double dip in the economy? I continue to hear concern about the commercial real estate market and that it is going to hit, it's going to be worse than the, the home mortgage market that, uh, that drove us into the first uh, recession. Are you concerned about that uh, and what are we doing about it? Well, we are concerned about it. It uh, clearly is a very weak point in the economy. Uh, for many banks, particularly smaller and medium-sized banks, it is a uh, problem. Um, we have uh, done a number of things. We, uh, the Federal Reserve worked with the Treasury to develop uh, program to try to restart the commercial mortgage-backed security market. Uh, beyond that, we have uh, issued guidance to banks on commercial real estate, and we're trying to work with them to uh, restructure commercial real estate loans and to find ways to uh, manage uh, troubled loans. So we're doing the best we can with the banks and with the, with the markets. Um, this seems to be, a, I would say, a few glimmers of hope in this area. There's some stabilization of prices in some markets, for example. But it does remain a very serious concern, and we're, we're watching it very carefully. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.